On the 19th of July 2020, Istanbul Basakşehir were crowned champions of the Turkish uh, Super League for the first time in the club's history. And uh, well, that's, uh, they also became the, only the sixth club in the history of the Turkish Super League to win league titles and the fourth club from Istanbul to do so. Istanbul Basakşehir's win ended the dominance of Fenerbahce, Kalatasaray and Besiktas who have 54 titles among themselves. Istanbul Basakşehir are, you know, a, a team of interest let me put it that way today because uh, they have on their cards a nigerian who is the captain of the under 23 eagles azubike okechuku is his name uh, winning the Tokyo super league meant azubike became one of the five one of five nigerians to win the league that includes uh, joseph yobo Henry Onyekuru, Uche Okechuku, Emmanuel Amunike, and of course, Azubike Okechuku himself. And now we are being joined by Azubike Okechuku. We'll be having him shortly to tell us, uh, lead us through to how, you know, how he was winning that, uh, I mean, for, for a player who came from second division in Turkish League to becoming Turkish, uh, Turkish League champion. Okay, Azubike Okechuku is here on the phone, so joining us from his base in Turkey. How are you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm doing fine. Okay. How are you also? I'm fine as well. Welcome to World Sport. This is Splash 105.5 FM here in the city of Ibadan. Okay, I'm staring at a picture of you a few years ago at uh, Bayasa United in your preferred number 14 jersey. And you see that journey has taken you from Bayasa to Yeni Malayat Sport to Rizal Sport, to Pyramids of Egypt, and now to Basekshe. From playing at the Yenango Township Stadium to playing in some of the biggest stadia across Europe. Now, it's been one hell of a journey for you. But can you put that into words for me, the, your thoughts about this ride that you've had? Um, I, I, I think um, I would say I worked hard, you know, for everything. But also God's grace, you know. Um, it was one hell of a journey, you know, from the Nigerian leagues, Directly, I came to Europe. It wasn't easy, you know, to you know to make that kind of step. You know, but then I managed to, you know, to do everything well. And I managed also to to work hard, you know, with with the language barrier and everything. Hmm. And then with all this journey, you know, traveling to to Egypt, back again, Turkey, and now, you know, I'm here in Basakshe Sports. So I think um, I I would say a bit. Big thanks to God and then to to working hard, you know, to get mm. it. Working hard indeed. Yeah. But is this what you dreamt of? Mm, yes, yes. It was. It came fast, though. But mm. this is what I came of. Yeah, fast yeah. came fast. Well, this isn't ended with you being part of a record-breaking team. You know, winning the Tokyo Super League for the first time. If you have to take stock of the season, what stand out the most for you? How would you describe the season? Um, it was um. A very good season for me. I would say um, um, it was a fantastic season. Uh, it's been my best season so far, you know. And then to winning the championship to capital, you know. So I think um, winning it is, is what caps it all, like, you know, for the season. Uh, but with the COVID-19 break along the line, were there doubts somewhere in between? Um, no, no, no. Well, the, the doubt we we had, all I had was was like you know not not completing the season because some other leagues stopped their you know the the leagues and all that, the French league and all. So that was that was that. But then when we started, I was happy and then I didn't have any doubt. Mm, no doubt. That. But how has playing in the Champions League and the Europa League? How has it changed your game, or has it? Yes, it did change my game. You know, it's um, playing in the Champions League. We played in the qualifiers against Olympiacos. So uh, we, we were knocked out before, you know, going to the Europa League. I think um, it helped my career a lot because playing in this stage, you have to be, I, I, let me say, 100%. You have to concentrate. You, you cannot lose the balls easily, you know. So playing in this competition helped me to, to build my confidence and also helped me to know when to keep the ball and when to release the ball. Mm, indeed. But but you, you missed the last game, that, that last um, Europa League game you played, uh, I think it was last week, uh, due to injury. But what's the state of your injury now? I am still working to get back to fitness. Uh, I, I I thought I was okay, you know. Yeah. And then I went to train. I was okay, actually, you know. I'm, I did some training with um, the physiotherapist and everything, you know. I did rehab and I was fine. And then I joined the team and then again, I was injured in the same place. So because of this, I didn't play. So right now I'm still trying to 
to get back to fitness. Um, the team is on vacation now. Everybody has yeah. gone to, you know, different places. But I'm yeah. still here, you know, treating myself and trying to get better. Mm, okay. But well, with the Instabu Bashekste team, what was it like being in the same team, you know, and playing with players that you have always seen on TV? I'm talking like someone like Robinho, someone like Klichy, someone like Dembaba. Do you sometimes feel like, um, maybe you feel overwhelmed or starstruck with the presence of those guys in the team? Yes, of course. Um, at first, when I came to I, I, I came to Istanbul and then I, from Nigeria, you know, yes. beginning of the season, I went to, you know, to meet up with the team in Austria for preseason. I was such you know, with, <laughs> to see these players. I've, I've played against them, you know, from this same league, you yeah. know, against them, Baba, yeah. and one time against Robinho, also yeah. Klichy. But then, you know, coming to play together with them or to play in the same team with them it was it was overwhelming at one point you know at, at the time i was i was scared you know to make mistakes like hmm. when you play with Klichy, who's like a teacher who's always screaming at your back and all that so but then i i, I got used to it you know as time goes on and now i am fine and happy to play but, with them. but what lessons would you say you learned from playing with those guys dedication dedication hmm. just to to you know, to summarize it, dedication. I have seen Klichy, he's 36, I think, or 35. Then Baba also. These guys, they are so dedicated. They work more than the younger players, more than me. You know, to mm. let me just be truthful to you, they mm. work very hard. They are dedicated to their job. So, um, to summarize it, dedication. Dedication. But who is the closest person? Who are you closer to in the uh, in that team? Robinho. 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, it looks yeah. like he has a huge influence on you. Yes, he, he has. He has. He's, he's a very good person. But now he's set to you know, leave, leave Basekste at the end of the season. Uh, but, but how is that likely to affect the team going forward? Um, I, I, his contract is finished, yeah? yes. And then um, I think they don't want to, to, to give him a new contract. So... I think they are also planning to bring in other players. I don't know. You know, right now there are speculations and all that. But um, I don't think it's going to affect the team. You know, a lot, a lot because we still have the big names. Also, we have them, but who is staying? We have some other players also. So I think we can we can try to cope without them. Okay. Uh, but last earlier this year, you spoke about um, not wanting to return to Egypt. Uh, that's the pyramid of Egypt where you first came on loan to uh, Bashakti, and then you know before making it de- uh, permanent. But how important w- was it for you to make that? move permanent to Istanbul Bashakste? Uh, it was I think it's um, a very important move, you know. I, I needed to I needed to make it. I like like you said earlier in the season, I didn't want to go back to Egypt. I ha- had my time there. It wasn't pleasant, you know. And then with the whole memories and all that, I didn't want to go back, you know. So I when I was called by Basakshi, they said, okay, we are we're gonna give you a one year loan contract, an option to buy. So I said, okay, this is a good time to, to show myself, you know, to prove that I can stay in this team. So right now, um, they are giving me a contract and I'm, I am happy about it. Mm, indeed, you're happy about that. But uh, for many Nigerians, for many Africans, uh, Turkey is usually the place to go at some point in terms of the league. I mean, but now you've played in three different clubs in this Turkish league. But how competitive yeah. is this league itself? Well, it's a, if if I can if I would say it's a it's a competitive league, we are getting there. You know, um, I came in 2015, and um, if you if you see 2015, and then if you come now, you know you you know that that we are improving. The league is improving. That the competition is getting higher. You know, and this year also we played in the Europa, and then we got to you know this stage. So this is to tell you how competitive the league is. You know, we have a lot of stars who are coming in, 24, 25, you know, going to 30 also. So I think the, the league is, is, is almost, you know, getting close to the top five leagues. Mm, indeed. Uh, let's, let's talk about the national team, your time with the, the 23 and uh, with the Super Eagles as well. But you, you have one cap, or I mean, to your, to, under your belt now with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. But what was your first experience there? Um, it was... Um, I think I, I enjoyed it, you know, it was um, a very good one. But um, we didn't, it was a qualifying game, yes. you know, uh, and then we didn't qualify for the Nations Cup, you know, we lost in that game. So I think it, it, it was sad, you know, to, to play in that game and not to qualify. Um, being in that team, I was so happy. I was, you know, expecting to, you know, do a lot to come in, you know, maybe start a game and then 
you know, give my best. I didn't start and then I came in, but then we lost again. So I think it's a mixed feeling. I'm happy at one point and then I'm sad that we didn't qualify with that team. I know that feeling. But as captain of the under-23 yeah. Eagles, you've proven your worth over and over and over again. In fact, I, I remember you were named player of the tournament. That's at the under-23 AFCON in 2015. But then it has been yeah. a bit difficult, a bit hard for you to break into the Super Eagles. What do you think is responsible for that? Um, I think um, first I made a decision to come to Turkey. I had some teams in Europe. So um, I think my decision to come to Turkey was a problem, you know, mm. at, at some point, because I spoke to a few coaches, you know, in the Super Eagles and all that. And they all end up saying, oh, you're in Turkey, you should be in the, the top five leagues and all that. So I think um, this has, um, you know, stopped my, I wouldn't say, st- I wouldn't say stop my progression. It has, you know, hampered my progression a lot, a lot. So I think being in this league is one of the reasons, you know, for for not progressing to the to the main team. But with this performance that you've had this season, do you think that could get the national team handlers to have a rethink? Yes, I think so. I hope so also. Okay. But, but in, in all our years yes. of uh, professional football, tell me what's the, the highest and lowest moments that you've had? Hmm... I am winning um, the 2015 Afcon on the 23 Afcon was was the highest, you know, was the highest. I would say the Olympics, but then you know, winning gold and then being could have the, been it. I know, right? Know, yes, I know. Yes, yes, that, that, <laughs> and then that the lowest the point. I, I've had so many low points and all that. You know, this is football; it's also life. You know, but then I think um, I missed the game against them um, Germany we lost you know I wanted to play this game because it was like the most important game in the Olympics you know when we were playing the Olympics I got a a very crazy yellow card it mm. was my fault mm. you know so this was my lowest lowest point there yeah. because all the players you know they started to say shit things to me so I will never forget this, this time yeah. <laughs> indeed yeah. okay well I need to let you go but not before I ask you this question I, I look at Odio Nigalo at 30 he's fulfilling a lifelong dream you know that lifelong mm. desire of playing for his childhood club at Manchester United and then he came at a point where many felt it was past his prime but for you what what will a dream move be for you? Um, going to England would be a dream move. I think um, Chelsea, Arsenal will be will be very good. I, I I've been a fan of of Arsenal from the beginning and Chelsea also. And then moving to England would would be like a dream move for me anytime. Yes. Okay, that could project you yes. <laughs> indeed. Yes, <laughs> so exactly. So pick one: Arsenal or Chelsea. This is difficult now. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, okay, Chelsea, Chelsea. Chelsea. <laughs> okay, that means yes, you're expecting exactly. Chelsea to, to, to overturn that three new deficit at Bayern tonight. Uh, it's going to be difficult, but then nothing is impossible, you know. <laughs> Everything is possible. You just have to work for it. But this is very, it will be very, very difficult, like. Uh, okay, yeah. all right. Thank you very much, Azubiki Okechiko. Thanks for being a part of our show today. Yeah, thank you very much for having me also. Okay. Thank okay, all right guys, that was the voice of Azubiki Kechiku, the captain of the under twenty three Eagles and a player of Istanbul Bashekshe.